Welcome back everyone, it's Adriana here and today I am showing you a project I've created using synthetic alcohol ink paper and some of the ephemera and dyes from the Seaside Girl collection from Couture Creations. So let's get started. I've sped up the process of this video so you can sit back and watch it at any time. You can stop the button and catch up to where I am. So here I have a piece of synthetic alcohol ink paper and I've cut it down to size to fit into my art journal. I have my photo here and I'm just drawing some faint lines of where the sea and sand and the horizon of this photo is on my page. So that way I can sort of incorporate the colours of the alcohol inks to create a sort of a ba background with a painting. And so I'm just using a normal brush to paint with the Couture Creation alcohol inks. I have a list of all the colours that I've used in the description down below. But they are sepia, sienna, clear sky, mint, honey, allure blue and snow which is the white. I also have a list of all the dyes I've used and some of the pro products from the Seaside Girl collection which is available now from Couture Creations. So with a little bit of alcohol solution here and the colours all I've just placed them on my mixed media mat. I'm just dabbing a little bit at with my brush and just creating a little bit of a background to incorporate my photo. Now the colours I'm trying to match up with the photos but it's very hard to do that but I as you can see I'm just using a little bit of the alcohol solution and also the alcohol colours and incorporating the colours to blend them together on my synthetic alcohol ink paper. So sit back and watch me create. I'll come back in time to time and just explain a few little steps that I'm doing here and there.
I'm now just flicking on some of the alcohol colour over my page here and just with the brush just dabbing it with the colour and also in the solution and just giving it a little bit of a flick over the page. I'm going to do that with the blue as well over the sky as as well but in a minute I'm going to be using my felt applicator to give a little bit of a stupple effect and sort of gives a bit of um, depth and a bit of texture to the page. The felt applicator is a really great tool with using with the alcohol inks. It comes in a love sh shape of a love heart and it comes with 10 felt applicators and also you can buy a, um, extra felt um, applicators. So this is the felt applicator tool and I'm just going to apply a few colours on there. There already is a bit of colour already because I've used this with another project and I don't mind using it as long as it's got the same tones. So just dabbing it over the corners here you can see how it gives a really nice effect and looks like a bit of greenery or a bit of foreground in the in my painting. I'm going to do the same with the blue sky but I'm going to use a new applicator because uh, this one hasn't uh, to be using the other one has got a lot of green in it I want to make sure I get the right blue so then I'm applying a few dabs of the uh, clear sky alcohol ink over the applicator and just dabbing it with my the applicator tool over my page to give it a bit of depth in the sky. And that's a great tool, um, the felt applicator tool when using with alcohol inks on synthetic alcohol ink paper. So just placing my photo on the page. I'm now going to create a few coral leaf or seaweeds uh, with my alcohol inks and I'm going to be using watercolour paper. Watercolour paper is 300 GSM and I'm going to sh show you how I colour the watercolour paper with alcohol inks and my felt applicator tool. Applying the colour of alcohol ink on the felt and I'm just going to dab over my watercolour paper over the page. There's two ways you can dab it. It does go through the back of the paper because this is absorbent paper or you can just slide it through and I'm just putting a little bit more colour on here and I'll show you the effect. You can just dab it and scrape it over your paper. That way you can colour any type of paper with the alcohol inks as a great tool of colouring in paper. And now I'm going to be stamping the Coral Mini Reef, Mini Reef uh, Die and Stamp Set. This Coral Die and Stamp Set is as it is. It comes with a stamp and a die and I'm using the Stays in Place ink pad which is a great tool for using with alcohol inks and this colour I'm using is Chocolate Sprinkles. It's a new colour that's been released in the second release of the Stays in Place ink pads. Remembering it comes with the re-inker. You just need to apply it when you first start using it and now and then once the alcohol ink colour dries up. So dabbing a little bit of the colour onto the ink, onto the stamp pad and pressing it down onto my page. I'm going to use the die to now cut it out and use it through my Go Power and Emboss machine. And once I've done that, I'll use them on my page. Remembering to shake your bottle of the reinker when you're re 
inking your ink pad with the stays in place ink pad. So here I have all my little bits and pieces. I'm using the adhesive foam that comes in a roll of 250 individual foam tapes and I'm going to add these onto my page along with some ephemera pieces from the Seaside Girl collection. I'm using this glue here which is the tacky glue and I've actually dispensed it into my applicator so I can get easy application and precise uh, measuring and this precise layering of my ink of my sorry my glue onto the inked and stamped coral leaves. Placing some of these these shells on the bottom and also my seagulls that flying in the air. These are all from the ephemera pack of the Seaside Girl collection. Really pretty elements that can be used in anything between cards and scrapbooking. I've also used the word coast from the ephemera pack because this picture was taken of Jess a couple of years ago at the Gold Coast. I don't have the word gold but I like the word coast because this is what this picture is all about being on the coast of Australia, a beautiful beach down at Gold Coast, Queensland. I also added some more stamping around the bottom of the page and also around the top with a script stamp and some stays in place ink pad. I have all the materials as I said listed below in the description below. I like to thank you for coming and watching me today paint my little page here with using the Seaside Girl collection ephemera and dyes and also alcohol inks from Couture Creations. If you like this video please subscribe, give a big like and leave any comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for joining me today, I'll see you soon, bye for now.